I got a movie for Leonardo DiCaprio that I think he would like based on his irritation of actually being slightly more political than other actors in a certain way where he actually reads articles expecting something new. I'm pretty sure of it. This, he's like one of those people like Brad Pitt or the other people who think they're fancy who do this, expecting some logic or reason. But instead what you get is some college student who always wanted to be living in the period of the 50s or 60s or some point that they read an article about where homosexuality is just now in some sort of de like cultural form being or, or racism or something being addressed in some part of the country. And so they'll always say that major strides are being made in hirings or something. Any sort of article that they need to feel like that when they got their ca cancer diagnosis at the beginning of the month that halfway way long before the month is over that's why they're so poorly written and identical they might as well be the same person which is the joke of why I came up with this the concept is that they they consume black coffee for uh, you know an entire <laughs> week writing nothing but nonsense drivel about how you know something's moved on it's revolutionary and they're probably revolutionary for covering it that then, how, then, to that, make the movie interesting, I just had to cut in here. I was thinking about how you were describing this, and it made me think, you know how they always go out and have coffee with different people, and then each person says, oh my goodness, I'm totally insane and obsessed with this one random thing from history or something stupid or some little political concept. So then they talk to all these people as they're deteriorating with their cancer diagnosis, drinking black coffee, hyper running the cancer through their brain and saying everything's connected i'm dying and now the meth in my brain i'm running off of is making me a genius we're discovering new problems with society yeah as they have swamp gas brain they're breaking down so badly from dying basically from methane um what i'm trying to make fun of here is the will to continue writing stupid articles that are identical so this movie would go uh, he writes, you know, gets a cancer diagnosis on his phone at the beginning of the movie on a bus because he doesn't have a car because he's one of those people, like anybody who even writes for BuzzFeed, any of those people, you know. And so he just gets a cancer diagnosis, then right afterward on his phone, bloop, bloop, from his office that he needs to write an article about racism or something and the current status of it. Like, they always just update statuses. This is what you have to realize. They don't actually have ideas. It's like a a uh what's it called for children a lesson plan so that's the same type of behavior people have been using for office work even news which is why everything is falling apart so the concept here is he writes this article he has asinine hilarious conversations with people that are like crazy representative of the news organizations and the way that their collegiate minds work and how they're just trained like trained seals to write stuff and say things so then at the end of the hour and 20 minute film he gets hit by a bus because everybody's so sick of him, you know, and they don't really care much, the audience, by this point. And he's, like, you know, rushed off to the hospital. Then the person who's acting annoyed, like, as if he's being slowed down his bus schedule inside is also Leonardo DiCaprio because these articles are identical. This has nothing to do with political. It just has to do with them wanting to be revolutionary suddenly and following the books of how to do so. Like as if they're all completing graduation, but it's just them dying of cancer, in my opinion. Uh, so then he also gets a notification because he works for, say, CNN instead of the other guy who worked for ABC. And a CNN needs a news article about the updated story of racism. Then you see that it's just a cycle and the movie ends because it's also Leonardo DiCaprio. Like it's just the same person over and over well, again. Well, he have like different hair and glasses on or something. Well, yeah, that's the joke. Like the concept is he's supposed to be a different character, but it's obviously yeah. just that feeling happening. Yeah. I mean, I guess if we could get into um, the details, maybe not right now. Like, what are the different cliches? But everybody really knows the cliches of that world. Of like, that it's world. Baked into everyone. It's almost as if they've been writing these articles even in the 90s. They've been writing these articles for so many years that it's actually starting to become like a numbing agent better than lidocaine. <laughs> 